guys, what is up? I am Elizabeth, and if you don't know me already, I am the owner of the Tiny Fitness Studio in Houston, Texas, and online. I'm a certified personal trainer, and I believe that tiny changes are the best changes, and they're the ones that lead to the big results. So if you could do me a favor and hit subscribe on this YouTube channel, I'm trying to bring my studio to the world and help people stop killing themselves just to try to get in shape, because really, it doesn't have to be that hard. Um, so of course I'm doing the opposite of that in this video and I'm going to Pinterest. This kind of happened by accident. I was searching for something else on Pinterest and all I did was type in how and the first thing that came up was like, well we'll see, it's like how to lose weight fast or something and I was like, that is so sad that we have all the information at our fingertips in the world and people are just like desperate to do something crazy to lose weight. So, two disclaimers, three disclaimers, number one trigger warnings, if you have an eating disorder, get out of here because I haven't even watched this yet, but like, I, I, I'm being good, I haven't clicked on any of these links, but I'm sure there's going to be some crazy business that we're about to look at, so just get out for your own good. Number two, um, I'm not your personal trainer, and even if I am, I'm not training you in this video, so modify your own fitness routine at your risk, blah blah, disclaimer below. Uh, number three no shade or disrespect meant to the publishers of this content i know they're just making their living uh, and doing what they think they need to do to make money but i'm always going to put your health first because uh, my paycheck aside you have to live your life so anyway let's get into it and take a look at some of these crazy pinterest things right let's just let's just see what's out there so i'm gonna put it i think if it's not it should be right here. Okay, let's go. Right, so I've got my laptop right here off screen and I'm gonna do uh, just what I said. I'm gonna type in how, and the first thing that comes up is how to lose weight fast. I'm gonna pick this up a little bit. There we go, so we can hang out together a little better. How to lose weight fast. All right, uh, the first thing that's not an ad, the steps, the eight steps that allowed me to lose 10 pounds in a week. All right, let's click on this. Let's just see what's going on in this link. Just gonna, just gonna take a look. Um, you know, so losing 10 pounds in a week, number one, weight loss is not the best goal. As a fitness goal, I know it's what everyone looks for because it's really easy to buy a scale or get on the scale at your gym, but especially a loss of 10 pounds in a week, for most people, that's gonna be mostly water, which is a fluctuation that we can all manipulate to the tune of like five to 15 pounds in a week, but it's just water. So like it might help you squeeze into, say like a too tight dress or a pair of pants that's really not fitting you very well, but it's not weight loss because what people usually mean by weight loss is fat loss. So a better measure of that than the scale is your body fat percentage, uh, but we can get into that another day. So let's see, how to lose 10 pounds in a week. I'm gonna scroll past, no shade girl. Detox, you have to get the body ready for losing weight. Mm. So she detoxed on lemon juice, ginger, honey, and water. So drinking a lot of carbs, you tell me. Um, if you have at least one kidney and most of your liver, your body's already doing an amazing detox. You are a magical machine, so like not so much on the detox. Limit your portions. Um, half veggies, a quarter of your plate is white meat or fish. It doesn't have to be, it just means protein, and then the rest is fruit. Um, I, 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 fruit? Like, I. I give people that my plate at my studio just rip off of like Michelle Obama's simplified my plate which is beautiful I love you Michelle call me um so I don't know about the fruit part like she, I, she it just carbs is what goes there the next day okay see now we get into weird specifics two apples and one can of black beans so apples and black beans are high in fiber um so fiber helps you feel full the soluble fiber in apples uh, and some kinds of beans is also going, it's that sticky fiber. Insoluble fiber is like the roughage when you think of like kale and like you can't chew it, that's insoluble fiber like plant cellulose. Um, it just passes through, it pushes things on through, but insoluble fiber, no sorry, soluble fiber is the gooey kind that acts like a street sweeper to get stuff out of your body that maybe you don't want in there, not in like a laxative kind of way. I mean, if you have too much, obviously, sure, but 
just in a healthy kind of way. So like the weird specificity of adding two apples and one can of black beans, like that's like, let's see, 140 and then probably like, it's like 440 more calories of mostly carbs. So not sure about that. I began to eat breakfast and stopped eating in the night. You know, you can kind of do what you want on eating breakfast, to be honest. I know intermittent fasting is a real trend right now. Like there's pros and cons, it can really mess with your hormones. So if you're trying to conceive, talk to a doctor who's really knowledgeable. Like I know there's a good one here in Houston. Talk to a doctor who's really up to date on what intermittent fasting does to your hormones as a female, just to make sure that you're really doing the right thing for your body if you're also trying to have a baby in the next year or two. Uh, not to say that intermittent fasting is birth control because that is not true either. Birth control is birth control, live your life. Um, anyway, so like, Breakfast or no breakfast, your blood sugar control, diabetic or not, is kind of worst first thing in the morning, and for most people it usually peaks like mid-afternoon to late evening. So there's like support for and against eating breakfast. Like kind of you want to fuel the machine, but your machine should also be okay running without fuel for a little while. So like also eating at night, same thing. Like if you eat a ton and then go to sleep, it's a lot of load on your body, just insulin wise to be processing at night while you're asleep. But like once in a while, it's not going to kill you or if it's like a little bit, it's very individualized and it really depends on what you're doing in your whole day and what you're specifically eating at those times. Um, people tend to eat kind of garbage late at night, but that's usually because you starved yourself during the day. In addition, I drink at least 10 glasses of water. I mean, water's great. Uh, increases metabolism, sort of, and helps curb. It's not that water increases your metabolism, it's that being dehydrated slows down your metabolism, so there's like a point that you're gonna reach. Like, you can't just drink more water to try to up your metabolism. Sorry if you hear my dog whining. Um, so not really. Helps curb your hunger, sure, because your stomach is full. Did you know that 80% of the time when we feel hunger, it's actually our body screaming out for hydration? Like, I think that's a made up statistic. Right, lies, stand, lies, statistics. Um, in addition to limiting portion size, I ate more frequently two big meals to five smaller meals. She says it's because you want to balance your body between full and hungry throughout the day, but it's actually that that big meal instead, so if this is your, your blood sugar graph here, my clients are so used to me doing this, your big meal is going to go to your blood sugar and then it's going to plummet. So you're going to feel hungrier than you might have if you had a smaller meal and maybe sooner. But the smaller meals are not a magic bullet, and again, it depends on your specific health situation. Put the brakes on the fat, sweets, and not so healthy foods. So like, yes, thumbs down to sweets, sugar is not going to help you lose body fat, but fat is not going to make you fat. It's 2019 when I'm making this video, y'all. Just eat fat. Just eat fat, all right? Read up on saturated fat for yourself. Don't eat the hydrogenated fats, but if you live in the U.S., it's even kind of hard to find them now. Um, you really have to look for them or eat like fast food. You don't want to eat double fried food like french fries that have been dropped in the fryer and then fried again, which a lot of fast food ones are because that's how they reheat them. That's also been shown to give you type 2 diabetes, so don't do that. Um, okay, when I felt like I wanted to eat something unhealthy, I would move that food to the first part of the day. See, that goes against actually how blood sugar control works, so that's more bad advice. Um, but do what you want. Let go of the fruit juices and head for the fresh fruit section, sure. Get yourself a juicer and make it yourself. No, just use a blender so that you get the fiber with the fruit or eat the whole fruit unless you have a medical reason to be drinking juice instead. Try to keep yourself motivated and busy at all times. Like, sort of. That kind of sounds like some uh, old school pro Anna advice. Like, knit or paint your nails so you can't eat. I mean, if you're hungry, you should eat. If you're consistently hungry at the same time of day, you probably need to, uh, like, change your eating patterns in general. Anyway, so would this plan help you lose 10 pounds in a week? I don't even think it would help you lose 10 pounds of water in a week, but um, I agree with her that you should drink more water. All right, let me get rid of this. Let's react to <laughs> the first one, you guys. Oh my god. All right, let's react to something else. I don't want to read more about that. Uh, 10 pounds in three days. Oh my god, they got me. Oh, but it's on YouTube, and I don't want to watch a video while I'm making a video. Uh, 25 tips, so that's all the same stuff. Okay, let's just look at this. Maybe I can just look at the picture. Oh, no, this is perfect. Let's look at this. This is not spam. I'm going to get, like, a virus on my computer while I'm doing this. Open the mobile app. Okay, 
Let's see, loose 20 pounds, FYI, it's just L-O-S-E. I see that all day because I see weight loss content all the time. Loose 20 pounds, repeat one a day for two weeks. 100 crunches, you don't need to do crunches. There are way better ab moves. I have some on my website, they're free. It's just a little animated thing of me doing it a few years ago. Go do those. You don't need to do crunches, they're useless. 90 jumping jacks, 80 lunges, 70 squats, 60, I mean, this is not, other than the crunches, like this is not a bad workout, although most people probably can't plank for 15 seconds very well. Um, you're not gonna lose 20 pounds doing this, but this like, if this motivates you to be active, this doesn't sound like a terrible, fun, sort of generalized workout. Uh, to lose 20 pounds in two weeks, you know, pick which arm you wanna cut off. Um, that's pretty unlikely. Again, if you do it, it would be mostly just water. But yeah, don't do those crunches. Sofa abs. That's on YouTube, I don't want YouTube. Water challenge, I do like this. I don't think this is about weight loss, but I love um, when people do water bottles like this. I think this is awesome. So thumbs up on that. Um, not like resist temptation. Like you're not a bad person if you wanna eat. You're a human being. You're gonna have to eat multiple times a day, every day for most of your life. But I do love anyway, when people label their water bottle, water bottles up like this to remind themselves to Keep eating. God, did my feet refresh? There's so much stuff here. Killer thigh workout. So this is a killer thigh workout. I don't know what toe touches are. If you're just supposed to lean down and touch your toes. Um, but whoops, oh, I clicked on the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Um, most people don't want to do a ton. Like thigh is a complicated word because you have your quads, your hamstrings, and your adductors, your adductors, and your abductors on the insides and outsides of your legs. So I'm not sure. Oh, what that load. I'm not sure what they mean. Thigh, thigh workout. Moving on. All right, burn quick 100 calories, 40 jumping jacks, 30 crunches. Why are we talking about crunches? 20 squats, 10 push ups, five times in a day to burn 500 calories. So um, that's a nice idea. At most, this probably would burn you like 30 or 40 calories and you shouldn't work out just to burn calories. So you should work out to get stronger and to be fitter and help your metabolic rate stay high where you want it to be. Let's see. Um, so sorry, that's not gonna burn 100 calories or 500 calories, but it's better to do something than nothing. Beginner yoga workouts. Yoga doesn't have to be a workout. Yoga is a practice of nonviolence to self and others. Kardashian approved health habits, I can't. Apple cider vinegar morning detox tea. Um, so this is a little bit like fake science. It's not gonna help you lose weight. I guess this one also says it's for acne, but apple cider vinegar does have a lot of health benefits. So if you don't have any sort of stomach acid problem, although drinking more acid will actually help with that, but you can read on that on your own. Um, and you make sure you try not to get on your teeth all the time. It's not really great for your enamel to have. <sighs> this is tough. Get rid of belly fat at home with flat stomach workouts. So I'm not even gonna click it. I hope you know by now that working your abs will give you something to reveal, but your nutrition and to a little bit of an extent, sort of the whole world of your workouts, like high intensity interval training and other cardio and stuff is going to determine the weight, the rate at which you reveal those abs by shedding the body fat that's over them. But we can't spot tone, we can build muscle, but we can't spot tone by like spot reducing the fat unless you go for a surgical option, do you? I'm not gonna comment on that, do you? What else? Not gonna read intermittent fasting, it's too complicated for this video. 11 lazy girl hacks that will help you lose weight. Yes, I love a lazy girl. Come on, let me click you. So lazy, I can't click it, let's see. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good vibes on this one. Lazy girl hacks to help you lose weight. Um, who doesn't want to be lazy? Who doesn't want this to be effortless? I don't, even like me, especially with my tiny change philosophy, I don't want losing weight or getting fit or getting stronger or losing body fat or any of your good goals, reducing your waist size, lowering your blood pressure. I don't want that to consume your life. Life is short. I want you to live your life, um, whether you're my client or not. All right, lazy girl hacks. Don't drink your calories. Okay, I agree with that. Don't drink your calories. Not because there's something specifically wrong with drinking your calories, but because 
calories that you drink are usually sugar and we don't want a lot of sugar in our lives if we're trying to reduce body fat um, and because you don't register those calories so if you're someone who has a hard time figuring out if you're full or not um, you could easily drink like a whole uh, like fancy coffee drink no brand name listed and not realize that you just had 400 calories most of which were pure sugar um, yeah, like you could have eaten two candy bars and that would have registered. Okay, avoid packaged and fast food. I totally agree, avoid fast food. Some food comes in packages. Also, we're not all cooking wizards. Nobody has infinite time. So like there's some packaged food that's great. There's some packaged food that's fine. There's some packaged food that I would say is like once in a while. So almost, use a water bottle tracker. Hey, we already talked about that. Or you could just drink water. You don't have to track it. Always have tortillas, lean meat, and veggies on hand, or your version of that. Tortillas aren't anything magic, your meat doesn't have to specifically be lean, but I love her idea of having simple staples on hand that you can throw together to make a variety of little meals. Use small bowls and plates, sure, especially again if you're someone who has a hard time registering if you're full or someone who's usually used to eating like everything that you see, just changing the amount that you can see can help you if you're struggling with portion control. A lot of my clients come to me under eating though, but this makes sense if you're overeating or again having a hard time with portion control or if you're in a situation where like you're in a partnership or a relationship or a family with somebody who eats a ton, but you don't want to eat a ton, but you don't want them to feel like you're eating this little diet portion on a big plate, serve yourself on a smaller plate and they'll think that you're still eating the same amount, but don't try to use that as like, like a bad no eating tip, all right? You have to eat. Prep meals ahead, sure. Who doesn't want to do that? Um, do a short workout, don't overwhelm yourself. Amen, I'm loving these tips, they're so good. Limit your sitting time, absolutely, as much as you can. I know you have to work, you have to do things, but um, you know, stay a little bit active. I don't care the number of steps you get in a day necessarily, but you know, just try to be active. Have grab and go snacks, for sure. We're busy people. Eight ounce glass of water before every meal. I don't need you to do tricks to help yourself feel full sooner. There are a lot of schools of thought that think that drinking water between meals is better so you don't dilute your stomach acids and things that you need to break down your foods. So I'm gonna let you do your own experiment on that. Don't be too hard on yourself. Amen. High five to this girl. These were really good tips. So lazy girl or not, um, good tips. Loving this. Can we do one more? See if we can do one more. We got a good one. Um, yeah. I like this picture too. Let me just click on the picture. This fat loss pyramid. Yes. Um, I almost completely agree. Like calorie deficit to an extent, important protein intake, kind of. I think 2019 is gonna prove that maybe protein slash fat slash anything that's not carb intake is most important, especially because excess protein, A, is hard on your kidneys, so you're gonna drink more water, and B, uh, is digested very similarly and can produce the same insulin spike as just carbs. So you don't wanna go crazy overboard on protein. Like I saw these chicken chips made of actual chicken at Whole Foods today. I don't think that's necessary, but if you like them, let me know. Lifting weights, very important. We need our muscles to be um, in the game, let's just leave it like that, in the game, sleep, amen. I would also add in here stress management. If you're super stressed out, your body is not gonna respond to anything. Uh, and cardio is at the top. They're trying to make the point here that we don't need to do a ton of cardio. And my dog is trying to make another point. So yeah, we don't need to do a ton of cardio to lose weight. So, all right, what a good note to end on. So Pinterest is not all crazy town, but there's a lot of crazy stuff out there. So when you are feeling like that low point where you try on something that doesn't fit or you see yourself in a picture from a bad angle and you're like, oh my God, do I look like that? Instead of despairing and going to Pinterest and be like, how can I lose weight fast? Just take a deep breath, maybe try some of those lazy girl tips, drink a glass of water and calm down. It's a journey. Don't put your life on hold until you've reached some goal weight or any other goal. Live your life now and uh, Go easy on the Pinterest. If you like this video, leave me a comment and a thumbs up so that I know to do more like this because, oh my God, I could react to Pinterest for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I can't wait to be with you again soon.